Are you currently trying to get pregnant and wondering uh, when should you take an ovulation test? Don't worry, my name is Nurse Casey and I'm a medical advisor with Premom and I'm here to help you. Don't forget after this video to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you don't miss out on new information. One of our most popular questions that we get is when should I start using these ovulation tests? These ovulation tests are super helpful in identifying when your LH is rising, which happens about 24 to 36 hours before you ovulate. So when should you actually start using Using these we recommend that you start using these after your period ends up until you start to see that LH rise and a few days after that just to ensure that you have really reached your LH peak and that you've ovulated doesn't matter what time of day I take my ovulation test it does we actually want you to take that ovulation test between the hours of 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. The reason being, we want to make sure that you're using that second morning urine and not your first morning urine. Because what happens is overnight, if you're not drinking water or you're not using the restroom, your urine become, can become concentrated. And so there could be higher levels of LH in that one sample, which could lead to false positives. So we want to make sure that you're using your second morning urine that's not too concentrated. Does what or when I eat affect my ovulation testing results? And the answer to that is no, it doesn't. You can eat whatever you want throughout the day. That's not going to affect your ovulation test result. And you don't have to take your ovulation test on an empty stomach or right after you, you eat. What's important here is that you're taking your ovulation test at least once a day, sometimes twice a day when you're in that fertile window. And we want you to hold your urine for about two hours, if you can, before testing. When is the worst time to take an ovulation test? The worst time to take an ovulation test is right after you drink a bunch of bunch of water. So I'm saying you drink your whole cup of water and then you're like, all right, I gotta go pee right now. And we haven't had enough time to let that LH really build up in your urine. That's the worst time to take an ovulation test. So you wanna try and stay hydrated throughout the day and stay hydrated throughout your, cy your cycle. Hydration is super, super important for that cervical mucus. And we definitely wanna make sure that you're drinking water and you're not not limiting your water intake. However, we don't want you to chug a bunch of water and then go pee and then try and take your ovulation test as your urine may be a little diluted. All right, so let's recap. Ovulation testing, super important to do when you're trying to get pregnant. I want you to start using these tests after your period ends, up until you see that nice rise in LH, and then continue testing for a few more days to make sure that you've really reached that LH peak. Once you've hit that LH peak, ovulation happens about 24 to 36 hours later. So that is when you wanna be having sex when you're trying to get pregnant. You wanna make sure you're taking your ovulation test between the hours of 10 a.m. and 8 p.m., not with that first morning urine, and you don't wanna drink too much water or have too less water during the day. You want to make sure you're having that nice, healthy hydration throughout the day and throughout the cycle. Don't forget to download the Premom app and use the Premom app to help you read these ovulation tests. The Premom app is super helpful because what it does is it's going to take a picture of your ovulation test and it's going to graph it out for you and it makes it easy for you to see where you are each day so you don't have to remember, is my test line a little bit darker than it was yesterday or the day before and have I actually reached my peak? That's what the Premom app is for. It's a very, very helpful tool to help you determine when you're ovulating so you can get pregnant. So don't forget, download the Premom app and go to the Premom app and we have so many great resources that's actually gonna teach you more about ovulation testing and do's and don'ts right in the Premom app.